Have you ever heard of the expression, you know, what a difference a day makes? Well, forget about a day. For my next guest, Kiara, it was one phone call. It wasn't even a day, it was a phone call. You see, when Kiara started dating a man named Jordan, she was excited because they had been already best friends. And so when Kiara found out she was pregnant with her daughter Zoe, Jordan was thrilled about becoming a dad. Aww. And then came the call. You see, two weeks after Zoe was born, a man called Jordan and said to him, I slept with Kiara and I am the father of her baby. Aww. He went nuts, didn't he? He went crazy, like he just up and stop coming around like he didn't want to be around his daughter but today he gonna be there for his daughter today yeah so, today so so kiara who was that guy who made that phone we call? don't know he don't know the we, mystery man we don't know who it is and right? you don't think he asked the caller a right question right no he don't got a name he ain't asking to meet up he ain't asked for nothing he didn't ask no questions he didn't say nothing about him but today he gonna start claiming his daughter. He gonna come back around today because we not doing that no more. Right. No, we not doing that no more. So, uh, up until that time, you were deeply in love with Jordan, right? We were in love. Yes, we were in love. We were together for two years. He was there, like, he, he, he was put, He had been your best friend? He, yes, he's been my best friend. We've been, like, talking friends for four years now. And then the phone call changed everything. Yes, he just can't. He denied our child. He been there for two weeks, been dad of the year, taking pictures on social media, everything. But you decide after two weeks you want to deny a child? That look, that he was there child. all during your pregnancy. He was there. He went to doctor's appointment. Kissing my stomach, playing music. I didn't even get the chance to name my own child. He came up as soon as I took the pregnancy test. He said, oh, her name's going to be Zoe Elise Martin. And that was it. That was all it was. But today he going to know. He going to know today. Is there any other reason? He denies this child other than that phone call? While we were friends, he, he had a baby pinned on him, a two-year-old little boy. Uh -huh. So while I was praying, they came up that the little boy wasn't his. So he's trying to put it off as, oh, this is not his now, too. Same thing. Yes. He was burned before. Yeah, he, he was thinks burned he's been before. Burned it's, now. It's, it's not his. I'm not her. This is not them. This is, this is our situation. This is not what we're going to do. So how, how old is Zoe now? She's six weeks now. Six yes, weeks, so. okay. <laughs> so this has only been a month or so, right? Yes, it's only been a month. Like we Has we, he done anything for Zoe since the, in the last month? No, we, he hasn't. He has just stopped out of nowhere. Like. <laughs> Who, who's been helping you? My sister, my big sister, Tashara, she's been there for me every step of the way. She's been taking care of Zoe. She's been buying a pamper. Been buying a diaper. Been buying a wife. She's been there emotionally. She's been there physically. Does Jordan look like Zoe? He looks just like her. I don't understand. Look, hold on, hold on. Hold on. They got the same forehead. Look at their eyes. She got the eyes. Hold on, hold on. She got my lips. She got my lips. But look at this. They look just alike. Like, come on. Everybody, here's your ex boyfriend, Jordan. Jordan, come on out. So, two weeks after this little girl is born, you get a call. Man, boom. Sorry, let me set it up for you. So I'm at work chilling, you know, chilling with my bros, doing what we do. I get a phone call. I'm like, nah, I don't know this number. I don't answer no number I don't know. Only way I'm gonna answer if you call two times, because my brother called me two times, you feel me? Right. So I answer the phone the second time they call me, I'm like, hello, they like, is this Joe? Everybody calls me Joe. If you know me, you know I'm Joe. They like, is this Joe? I'm like, yeah, what's up? He like, hey, bro, I'm sorry to tell you, that baby ain't yours. What? Hold on, what? Hold on, time out. So I'm like, how do you know this? He said, oh, I slept with her in October and in November. And I'm like, hold on, what? Now, that ain't the kicker more. Let me tell you this. In November, I ain't gonna lie, I was like a female. I went through her phone. She had a dude texting her. She gonna text him talking about, so, oh, so you missed the kid. Come on, now. After bro said what he had to say, he hung up, I called the number back, no answer. Come on, now. I so just why you ain't sure. ask the name? Why you ain't ask no questions? After I got the why you ain't ask no questions? Why you ain't ask no questions? Okay. Okay. 
okay. Let's go back. You were friends yeah, for a man. long time. What, man? She like, I ain't gonna lie, man. She's still my best friend, you feel me? Aww. Through it all, she's still gonna be my best friend. Four years, you can't throw that down the but drain. Then it, but then it got very intimate, right? You became lovers. Yeah, man. Man, right. you just don't know me. I ain't gonna lie, she a good girl, man. She is, man. Like, all right. you want a girl that cook and clean and, for and, you? And, and when... And when... <laughs> What you mean? And when she got pregnant, you were happy. What, man? From the jump, I knew we was having a girl. And you were there the whole time? The whole time. You were rubbing her. She were doing everything for All her. All that. You what were money? there at the hospital for a week. Well, I took off work. Two weeks, I took Why off work. Why are we here? Two weeks, Why I took off work. I'm missing money. Why are we here? You know why we here, bro. Man. So for the first two weeks of Zoe's life, you were great, right? All right, boy. Let me tell you, boy. <laughs> Let me tell you. First two weeks, man, that's smooth. That's my... What, man? That was my baby, man. I'm telling you, man. You hey. want to be her father? What do I? What, man? Soon, man. Okay! Here's the other thing. After you got that phone call, you began thinking of what happened to you before in your life. Right, right man. See, look, man. I, I got attachment issues, man. I knew, this, I knew this girl before I knew her. We had known each other five years, you feel me? Right. So she, um, you know, we got nothing on whoop de whoop, you know, we do what we do. <laughs> she ended up pregnant. I'm like, all right, so we good, we good, had a little boy, man. Time go by, we end up falling off the map. I'm still there for the little boy. She ended up moving out. So when she moved out, she calls me, she like, um, I got some news to tell you. I'm like, what's up? Oh, uh, she said, um, I went and got the baby tested, you not the daddy. All nonchalant. <laughs> like it's nothing. Like she don't got nothing to do with me and you. Okay. <laughs> Do you know, do you know her sister, Tashara? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Don't get along. Mm. She was doing what she look, was, and so what's that? Her. Mm. What's that? Mm. Why she in my business? Here's Tashara. Tashara, who do you believe was behind the mysterious phone call that Jordan received? Jordan! So I'm gonna call myself? You set it up! I'm gonna call myself? You set it up! Boy, I'm he gonna call it myself? He He's... set it up! He sure did. He got to. That don't make he no damn sense. It, it don't make sense for nobody to call you. You ain't know, get no name. Why would I set it up? Ain't set no name. Why would I set it up? Why would I set it up? Why would he set it up if he went through the whole pregnancy, he was there at the birth, he loved that little girl? That's Maury. He's a little boy, Maury. He doesn't know be a man. He doesn't want to be a man. He wants to be a little boy. Man. I'm a grown man. You got scared. You got scared. You got scared, but it's okay. It's we okay. We gonna see. It's cool. It's okay. You got scared. You see. got to see. Why, why would he? Wait a second. Okay. What's up? What's up? Look, it is what it is. Cause you're a father. You know you're the father. Meanwhile, meanwhile, did you scare him off? I may have, but he gonna learn today. <laughs> you need to learn today. But wait a second, Tashara. Come wait a second. Wait a second. For nine long months. Long months, Maury. He, long. He, he was invested in this pregnancy. He was invested in your sister. He was invested in the birth of the daughter. Right I, there. And then I was you there. Think, and then you think he got scared? He got scared. He got cold feet. It's fine. But you're going to man up today. You're going to man up today. Today. We going to see. We going to see. We going to see. I read the result, and you are the father of that little beautiful little me. girl. I can't answer that for you. Think you all can get back together? No! Nah. Man, nah. man, nah. hey, listen, nah. listen. He got we can, we can, we can get back together. Nah. We can get he back together. To the but she needs to god dang on mind her business. You feel me? That is my business. <laughs> In the case of six-week-old Zoe, Jordan, you are the father. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.